Um, this is the first video about Stats app that I'm making. Uh, the app has many, many features now, and I figured it would be useful to uh, show everyone how these features work. And some of these features you may not even be aware of because I added them progressively. Um, and um, it would be useful to go through uh, these features one by one in a short video format. So let's get started with the last feature that I added, which is the uh, lock screen widgets uh, for iOS 16. Um, we'll add them together and we'll configure them. To add a widget, you uh, long press on the home screen, customize, and tap in this area. I'll remove them and we'll add them together. We select stats from this list. Here we are presented with many options for the widgets. There's a big widget, let's add that. There's a small one, add that. And then there are a bunch of uh, actions. These have no information, but, but allow you to um, interact with the car. For example, this one opens the charge port. And that's it. Um, now, if you have more than one car, you would ask, how do I add widgets for the other car? The answer to this question is, we'll customize it again. And this time I clicked or tapped on the widget itself. And it presents this menu. I choose the car name. Here I selected the other car. Right. And that's it. Also, you have the option of hiding the car name. If you have only one car and if you want to hide the name of that car, you can do that using this switch. Here I have two cars, so I want to know that this middle one corresponds to my second car whereas this widget, the bigger widget, corresponds to my first car. Um, the same way with this action, this opens the charge port for which car? Well, in this case, it's Gizmo. If I want to change that such that it corresponds to the other car, I do this. And that's widgets for iOS 16 provided by stats app i hope you like these videos these short videos i'll make more of them if there is interest um, thank you for watching bye